Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today we'll be learning how to draw metal knuckles. So first let's get started by coming over towards the right hand side of our page and we're going to draw a small curved line for the nose on the top. Starting on the left hand side we're going to draw a sideways letter V connecting that on the top. Moving further up on the left hand side we're going to draw in a small circle. On top of that now we're going to dip our line in, arching that up and then back down towards the nose leaving a small gap. Starting back on that line, we're going to curve this line down and then out towards the right hand side. Moving over towards the left now, starting on the bottom, we're going to curve this line all the way around, connecting this as we come up on the top right hand side. Towards the right of this, we're going to draw in a small half circle. Up above for the eyes now, on the left hand side, we're going to curve this line up towards the top and then back down. Moving over towards the right hand side, we're going to draw a curved line that arches up towards the top. Moving in towards the middle again, back on that left hand side, we're going to curve this line down and then we're going to arch this all the way up and over on the right hand side. Moving in towards the middle on our left hand side, we're going to draw a nice big oval shape for our left eye. Moving over towards the right hand side, we're going to draw in a small half oval shape for the right eye. Moving over towards the left hand side now, in the middle of that we're going to draw in a small oval shape in the center. And then moving over towards the right we're going to copy that shape even smaller in the middle. Moving over towards the left hand side now we're going to draw a small curved line that arches up towards the top. Moving further up we're going to draw a curved line that arches down towards the side. Moving Below this, we're going to draw another curved line that arches around and down, just extending that out a little bit longer. Let's move further up now. We're going to draw another curved line that arches around and then down. Again, moving up above that, we're going to curve this line around and then out. And one last time, coming further up, we're going to curve this line around and then down. Now from here, moving over towards the left-hand side, we're going to draw a small curved line from left to right. Towards the left of this, we're going to arch this line up towards the top, curving that around and then out. And now starting at that point, we're going to curve this back down towards the bottom. Moving further down now, we're going to draw an arch line that curves down towards the middle. Moving below this, we're going to draw a curved line that arches out towards the left. Starting back on that left hand side now, we're going to curve this line in towards the top and then at that point, we're going to arch that back down connecting that. On the right hand side now, we're going to curve this line out and then down, connecting those lines there. Moving further over towards the left now, we're going to arch this line all the way around and then down, ending that at roughly the same height. Now from here on the bottom, we're going to close this off with a small arch line, blending those lines together. In the middle of this, on the right hand side, we're going to draw in a small oval shape. Moving over towards the left hand side now, we're going to draw an even bigger oval shape right in the middle. Let's close off the rest of the head now. Moving over towards the left hand side, we're going to arch this line around and then down towards the middle. Coming back in towards the top now, we're going to start back on that line and we're going to continue to curve this down as we get towards the side of our eye. And then now from here, starting on that right hand side, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes in. Let's move over towards the left hand side now for the shoulder, we're going to curve this line out. Towards the left of that, we're going to arch this line down. And then now from here at that point, we're going to curve this line around and then back up. Closing off the arm now, we're going to draw a straight line that comes out on the top and then dropping down towards the bottom, we'll replicate that. Moving in towards this open space now, we're going to draw a diagonal line that curves around and then up towards the top. And then moving in the middle of that here, we're going to draw a small curved line. Moving over towards the side now, for the torso, we're going to draw a curved line that arches around and then over towards the middle. On that left hand side now, we're going to draw in a small circle for where the leg will start. Moving to the right of that, we're going to draw in a half circle for the other side of the leg. Now closing off the rest of the torso, on the left hand side we're going to draw a curved line that comes up. And closing off the right hand side, on the shoulder we're going to curve the small line that arches up again. 
In the middle, we're going to draw a small arch line in the middle, bringing that up. And then dropping down a little bit lower on the left-hand side, we're gonna curve this around and then back out. Moving over towards the right-hand side now for our right hand, we're going to draw a small curved line that arches around. On the left-hand side of this, we're going to curve this line out and up towards the right-hand side. And then starting at that point, we're going to curve this back around and then in. Moving up above that, we're going to draw a small diagonal curved line coming up. And then moving below, we're going to draw a curved line that arches out towards the side. Let's connect these now on the top by bringing that line all the way down from the point over towards the side. On the top portion now, we're going to curve this line up, in, and then arching that out. Now let's close this off by connecting this from the point there, arching this all the way around, and then back up. On the side, we're going to draw in a nice big half circle, connecting that on that line. Moving over towards the bottom now, we're going to draw in a small circle in the corner. Now let's close off our arm. On the top, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down. And then moving just below that, we'll replicate that again. To close off behind here now, we're going to draw a curved line that arches around and then in towards our arm. On the left-hand side for the leg now, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up. And now moving over towards the right-hand side, we'll do the same thing. On the outer lines now, we're going to draw a curved line that arches around and then down. Moving over towards our inside line, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in. Now to close off the legs on the top, we're going to draw two straight lines that come up from that diagonal line in towards our circle on both sides. Closing off the tail now, moving further up, we're going to draw a diagonal line that arches out. And then starting at that point, we're going to arch that back in. On both sides now, we're going to draw a curved line that arches around and out. On either side, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out. And we'll do the same thing on the right-hand side. For our shoe now, we're going to come further down and we're going to draw a curved line that arches all the way around and then up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. We'll continue to extend the shoe out now. So starting on that top line, we're gonna curve this around and then down. And again, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Starting at that point now on both sides, we're going to curve this line all the way around, connecting that over towards our inside line. Let's move further up now and replicate that. So we're going to curve this line around and then up. Moving up towards the top now on both sides, we're going to draw a line that comes in towards the center. And then starting at that point, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes up towards the top of our shoe. On the inside now, we're going to draw a curved line that arches down, connecting that to our bottom line on both sides. And then moving further out, we're going to draw a curved line that comes down from the top to the bottom. And then lastly, in the middle, we're just going to draw a small circle right in the center on both shoes. And that is it, that's how you draw metal knuckles. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all tomorrow.